Hello! In this tutorial we're going to see Paint Selection Tool. It's a really cool selection tool and I'm sure that a lot of people are going to be using this to illustrate and do your own images. It's a very nice way to have a very sharp contour and have a very vivid kind of stroke inside of it. And this selection tool is quite new. I've seen a lot of really good results coming out of it and we were using the lasso tool to do so and now with this paint selection tool it makes everything so much easier and it's I have to say it's really awesome and at the same time without having to think too much about it just really be painting uh, to do a selection. So we have here on top a few very interesting qualities for this brush now. We can be working with free hands, we can work with straight lines, we can do perspective selections, which is really awesome. I'm just going to press the first button, which brings me up to the default selection tool. We can have here uh, the size of the brush can be changed. We can work with the opacity of the brush. We can work with paper structure at the same time, which is really interesting. And we have here the three different options of selection, which is the normal selection, the adding selection and the subtracting selection. We have a few different views of the selection that we are going to see soon. And we can transform the selection into a shape and we can save the selection for further use. Some selections are quite complex and we would like to use it and change the size of it. This is possible up here. So let's get started. We have now the selection tool and I have the freehand selection tool and I'm just going to make a very simple illustration with it. So I have a little star. We can see here that we just have the outline appearing. I can change this view to show me the area that I selected that I can be painting on. I'm opening a new layer since I'm not working on the first layer and I'm selecting the brush. For example, this variant, the oil brush from the artist colors. And I'm just grabbing an extra color. And we can see here that using the default selection brush, we have a very smooth outside of the stroke. I'll undo the selection by pressing Command D. We can see here that my selection is quite um, smooth on the edges. And if we would like to have a very sharp edge, we should change this a little bit. I'm pressing Command A to select everything and the back key to delete the whole information. Instead of working with 8% uh, opacity, I'm increasing this to 100%. And I'm doing the same star again. So I'm just going back to my brush and I'm starting to paint with it. And we're going to see that we have now a stroke that has a sharper edge. This is a very good way to be working with it. And if it's not totally without uh, like totally straight, this painting edge is probably as well because of the paper structure that it's working here together with the brush. And I'm just deselecting the whole stuff again by pressing Command A and the back key and I'm going back to my brush and we can see as well the possibility of working with perspective. So if I start doing a stroke, it's going to be glowing in this perspective lines. I'm adding selection and I can go like this and I have a very interesting way to be working with perspective and I'll go back to the brush and we can see here that I can just start as well doing the brush stroke working with this perspective information so um, I'm selecting everything and erasing it and I'll turn off this perspective tool I have to go really to the perspective tool to turn it off <clears throat> selecting it all again erasing it. I don't know why, but I got some information on the first uh, layer. So I'm just erasing this as well. And going back to selection tool, we're going to have like a little tutorial to be working together now. Like for example, I have now the 100% opacity and I'm just using that we are close to Easter and I'm going to make a selection of an egg to be working a little bit on this Easter egg kind of subject. I can as well 
increase the size of the brush as if I would be increasing the size of a normal brush so pressing option command I can increase and decrease the size of this selection brush I have here the possibility of looking at the selection like in its full color or I can just see this outline another option would be to change the color of the selection if you're working with a blue background uh, and you would prefer something like red you can go for the red color and you can increase and decrease the opacity of this selection if you have some information on the background it's maybe interesting to have this color a little bit in transparency and you can be working with a view of the selection itself the area that you can paint or the masked area so the area that you should not be touching so I'll just leave this uh, like this for now and I'm going to start subtracting uh, parts of the selection we're going to do something like a paper cut structure so I'm just starting to make uh, a few structures here something that why is he doing this this is really not what I want to do just now here please minus I don't know why he's doing this so I have to check this out maybe I'm pressing something here on my brush we have so many buttons up here so just I'm going down to the lower layer and he's painting up there so I don't know why he's doing this anyway So just doing a few dots here just to break a few empty areas. Okay, so now I just did an illustrated selection and I'm going to save the selection. So I go up here to save selection. I can say Easter egg and we can find our selections on the channel. So here is my selection and I have already this layer that I can be working with so I'm just going to grab my brush I'm going to be working with this artist oil brush and I'm going to use a quite soft color afterwards I'm going to clean up what happened underneath there so I can maybe do a few strokes from something lighter and something darker just to afterwards maybe smoothen up a little bit everything so you can see that you can really work in a quite of quite free way with this uh, image it's a very very vivid stroke with a very strong outline which is quite interesting and uh, at the moment I finished uh, doing the painting and I deselect everything with command D I can just select the whole uh, information with control and uh, clicking on the image from the layer and I'm going to open a new layer and I'm going to bearbeiten fühlen or just command F and I'm selecting here a new color I'm going to black for example filling it up and I'm deselecting everything with command D again and selecting my selecting tool or layer tool I can just bring this a little bit to the side and think that uh, the outlines are a little bit too strong so I'll just go to effect focus and here I can say blur it up a little bit confirm it and I can just decrease a little bit of the opacity just not to have it straight and black uh, on the background and here you would have some kind of paper cut illustration uh, that you can do with your selection brush and if you would like to repeat this uh, whole thing somewhere else in the illustration you can just grab the selection again through selection and load selection Easter egg 
I have here my selection. I can go to the selection tool and I can move the selection to the side. By pressing the shift key, I can decrease the size of it. Oops. Again. I don't know why this is not working again. So I can decrease the size of it and for example on opening a new layer I can start painting on it again, deselect and I have it in a different size. So it's really interesting to be working with this tool and you can try some other tools that gives you a lot of texture and works in a quite free way with this contour, this selection which is already giving you the shape of image that you would like to be working with. I really recommend you guys to try this out and um, have fun with it, okay? Well, talk to you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.